Hey, I wanted to show you a little video today about a cars and their tires. And what is it when a car's tires are too old and unsafe to drive? We have a 2015 Mazda 3 and we bought it brand new, has original tires on it. It's only got less than 30,000 miles on it, 29 something. Uh, and I just want to show you a little bit about the tires and uh, these tires are no longer safe. And I kind of want to show you the reason why. Okay, our Mazda is almost like brand new, even though it's a 2015. We brought it brand new in 2015. It's been a great car. I uh, haven't really done nothing. The only issue we have ever had with it is this front tire on the driver's side will lose air. You know, in a week or two, it'll go down six, seven pounds. I've had it go down 10 pounds, but and i've had it taken in and they've checked it out and they said there's nothing wrong with that tire you know well it still leaks air uh so you know we put it i just check it every time we go out fill it up if it needs to be and uh, go on from there but as this went on like i said the it's got less than thirty thousand miles on the car and the tires and the tires look like brand new i'm going to show you a little bit and show you a little bit my why these tires are now dangerous they're not safe to drive anymore all right, here's that front tire. Uh, we looked at the uh, ODOT sticker. And you can see right now, it actually was produced on 42 weeks on the 14th year, 2014. That makes this tire almost close to being 10 years old. That's the DOT. These are a uh, Sport 5, SP Sport 5000. Let's see if we can get you. They're a Dunlap tire. Dunlap tires are made in Japan. I think a lot of tires are made in Japan. Let's see if we can get another on one and give you the size of the tire. And it's each one when it rotates hard to take a picture. Let's try another one. Okay, here's the size of the tire. It's a 215-45R18, and 89 wide is the speed they told me of it. But this is the tire. And let's see if we can get a little bit of the tread. Looks pretty good. You can see it's like got really good tread. Let's go back here in the back and see if I can see a little bit better picture of the tread. There you go. Tread looks like new. You know, this, uh, uh, they've got plenty of tread on it, really. They're in good shape. The sidewalls, you see no cracking. It's always been kept in the garage. You know, so there, there's just no cracking or any shown of any bad areas on this tire. They say tread wear 340 traction B temperature a i didn't give you as much information again you can see it again it's the sp sport 5000 steel belted radio tubeless made in japan dunlap tires are made in japan but this tire all the tires on this car are no longer safe because they're right around just close to 10 years old a tire at 10 years old, even though they look good, has lost its rubber elastic. See, was that what I want to say? It's it's just not a safe tire. This tire could easily blow out. Uh, it's stiff. You don't you can't hardly even feel it unless you take it off and feel the tire itself and just see how stiff it is. It has no more, uh, you know, what do you call it? Elasticity? Is that what I want to say? But it's, uh, this tire is no longer safe to drive. So we're going to go today and have these all replaced with brand new tires. Because it's not safe to drive a car that the tires are just too old. So it looks like we've got 29,521 uh, miles on these tires. So less than 30,000. And so they're going to be replaced today.
Yeah, we're here at the tire place. It's going to take them about two hours to uh, get. This is Tire Kingdom. I've used this before. I drive by this all the time with the uh, e-bike. So this is where we're getting our tires replaced at. It's going to run just a hair over a thousand dollars worth of alignment for four new tires. All right, Kingdom. Well, it looks like they've got our car in the bay already. Getting ready to do the service. Maybe it won't take, they said two hours, we'll see. Yeah, again, it's a steel belted radio, tubeless, made in Japan. DOT ICF V4XO. That number don't quite pan with what I have, XO. So, trying to think what year they was made. Um, I'm not sure. That's something new in their coding. Again, here's the size of the tire, 215.14.5R18. And they have an 89W, that's the speed. There's your, you have to focus, tire pressures. 51 pounds is the maximum. We keep them at 35, 36. When they first bought the tire monitor, pressure monitor was going off. And that could either mean it's too high or too low. They had them all too high. Just kind of wanted to show you a little bit about the, the tires. See if I can find another year it's made. Now let's try another one. I'm going to try to get that to... Oh, here's the brand new tires. They look just like the ones that was on it before. There's the DOT. It's got a little different number. I'll have to figure what that number is. It, should, it says DOT V4XO. Oh, 14. No, that's not right. V4XO. That should be the year that they're on, uh, that they were made. Let's look all around there. I've done that tire, just like we had before. Again, they're made in Japan. So anyways, I thought I'd do a little video on the tires and kind of show you a little bit. I don't know everything about them. I know a little, very little in fact, but uh, I know if they're too old, Tires can blow out, and that's something you don't want to have out on the road. It could run you, cause you a wreck. It, you could get into another car. It could throw you off the road. But you need to watch your tires. There's more to them just how much tread's left on them. Uh, you need to keep track of how old they age and the sidewalls. The other ones didn't look that bad, but they were old. They were like almost 10 years old, and that's just too old and could be very dangerous. So, guys, watch your tires. Learn about them. And uh, protect yourself, because you know, that uh, could be your life, <laughs> you know? So I just thought I'd share this video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave us a uh, comment. Uh, hit the like, the thumbs up, whatever you want to do to help the channel along. So I like to do helpful videos. I hope this one helped you out. We'll see you the next time. Join Lucky Dogs and all our little ventures there. We'll see you later.